गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज विनय सर यूर मैथमेटिक्स टीचर एंड यू ऑल आर वेलकम टू दी ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एलकेमी स्कूल टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एथ स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज रैशनल नंबर स्टूडेंट्स रैशनल नंबर इज नॉट न्यू फॉर अस ऑलरेडी वी हैव वर्क ऑन रैशनल नंबर इन सेवन स्टैंडर्ड we have solved many problems based on rational number we know very well what are the rational numbers and many things we know about the rational numbers but because this chapter is very important not only for these years not only for your uh, uh, for eighth standard but for your higher studies also this is very important chapter okay so we have to understand the concept of rational numbers very clearly and if you have any doubts you can ask me you can revise the lecture you can rewind the videos okay so it is very important to solve your doubts here to solve your each and every doubts here okay so let's start the first chapter of 8th standard that is rational number okay okay so let's start the first chapter of eighth standard that is rational number so the topic that we are going to cover here is first we will recall the number system in that we will learn what is the natural number what is the whole number what is the integers okay and then after we will introduce we will learn what are the rational numbers okay then we will discuss about the properties of rational number we have we will understand what is the role of zero with rational number what is the role of one with rational number what are the negative rational numbers and what is the reciprocal of a rational number okay rational number will try to understand how we can plot the rational number on number line we will understand how we can find rational numbers between two given rational number once we complete these topics then after we'll try to take examples from exercises okay so let's start the first topic that is recall the number system the students we know clearly we know about the natural numbers okay in 6th standard all uh, uh, already we have learned about the natural number in 7th standard we revised the rational number and now here today again we, uh, we are going to revise the natural number so we know that the number starts from 1 and it goes to infinity is called natural number these numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so these numbers are called natural number okay so natural numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on till infinity okay these natural numbers are also called counting numbers because they are used for, to count the objects the next number that we are going to discuss is whole number okay when we include zero include uh, uh, when we include zero along with the natural numbers it becomes whole numbers so we can say 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so these are the these are the whole numbers integers are very important with the point of view of rational number okay so we, we have to understand it clearly when negative numbers are included with whole numbers minus 5 is a negative number minus 4 is a negative number minus 3 is a negative number minus 2 is a negative number minus 1 is a negative number so when negative numbers are included along with the whole numbers so they are called integers okay now it is much clear what are the natural number what are the whole numbers and what are the integers okay the next number that we are going to discuss is rational number we know that in 7th standard already we have studied about the rational number and we know that if a number can be written in the form of p by q where p and q are the integers and q is not equal to 0 the number is known as rational number already we have dealt about the rational number in the form of fractions where p 
is known as numerator and q is known as denominator okay so it's a very simple if any number can be represented in the form of p by q where p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0 so that number is called rational number let's try to understand these rational number by taking some example i have selected some numbers that will try to represent in the form of p by q and then after we can understand these given numbers are rational numbers or not so can we write this 5 i have taken the first example as 5 5 is can we write this 5 in the form of p by q let's try so yes 5 can be written as 5 upon 1 where 5 is an integer 1 is also an integer and 1 is not equal to 0 because q should not be equal to 0 so 1 is not equal to 0 so yes 5 is a rational number students any number whether it is natural number whole number or integer it can be divided by 1 as when we divide these numbers the result will be unchanged okay so 5 is equal to 5 upon 1 so we can divide it by 1 okay the same way minus 4 also can be divided by 1 so minus 4 is equal to minus 4 upon 1 where minus 4 is an integer 1 is also an integer and 1 is not equal to 0 so this is also a rational number when we see about 0 can we say that 0 is a rational number or not okay so 0 can be written as 0 upon 1 where 0 is a rational number 1 is also a rational number and so at 1 is not equal to 0 so 0 is also a rational number the next example that i have taken here 1.4 can be written 1.4 as uh, in the form of p by q so we know that 1.4 can be written as 14 uh, by 10 when when we simplify this 14 by 10 we get the result 7 upon 4 so this 14 by 10 is also a rational number and this 7 upon 5 is also a rational number okay so this is 1.4 is a rational number because we can write it in the form of p by q when we see the next example when we we can see uh, the next example is 1.01001 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. so we cannot say where it where this number is going to be at okay so this number we cannot write in the form of p by q so this is not a rational number the next number is uh, under root the next number is under root 3 when we are going to find the value of this because root 3 is not an integer understood uh, understand it clearly root 3 is not an integer so when we find the value of root 3 we get 1.732050807567 and so on this number also is not going to be and so this is also not a rational number when we try to find the value of pi then also we can find uh, pi is also not a rational number the number which cannot be written in the form of p by q is known as irrational number. So, we know that this 5 is a rational number, minus 4 is a rational number, 0 is a rational number, 1.4 is a rational number, but this, this and this means 1.01, .01, this number, root 3 and pi. These numbers are not rational number. So, when they are not rational number, what they are? So, they are irrational number. And when we collect the rational number and irrational number together, we form a different kind of number system that is real number. Okay. So, real number is a collection of rational number and irrational number. Fine. Okay. So, the next topic that we are going to discuss is properties of rational number. The first property that we are going to discuss is closer property. According to this closer property, rational numbers are closed under addition, under subtraction, 
under multiplication but not closed under division how they are closed under addition how they are closed under subtraction how they are closed under multiplication how they are not closed in division we will try to understand okay so closure property says that when we add two rational number when we add two rational number we get another rational number when we add two rational number we get another rational number okay the same way when we subtract two rational number we get another rational number when we multiply two rational number when we multiply two rational number we get another rational number but when we are going to divide two rational number it may be possible we don't get a rational number so rational numbers are not closed under division rational numbers are closed under multiplication they are closed under addition and they are closed under subtraction we can say rational numbers are closed under addition because when we add two rational number we get another rational number when we to subtract two rational number we get another rational number when we multiply two rational number we get another rational number but when we divide two rational number it is not compulsory that we get the next rational number fine so rational number are closed under addition rational number are closed under subtraction rational number are closed under multiplication but rational numbers are not closed under division okay now the next property that we are going to discuss is commutative property commutative property means under addition and multiplication rational numbers are commutative we can say according to commutative property we can say under addition and multiplication rational numbers are commutative under addition and multiplication because we are going to add or multiply two or more rational number their places can be interchanged we can interchange their places while we are multiplying or while we are adding two rational number we get the same result as for example i have taken the example here we have two rational number 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 so we know that when we are going to add 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 the our result will be 5 by 6 the same way when we interchange the places of these numbers 3 by 6 plus 2 by 6 that's uh, then also we get the same result 5 by 6 so in rational number when while we are adding two rational number and when we interchange their places then also the result is unchanged so this is because of commutative property the same goes for multiplications also when we are going to multiply two rational number suppose that we have 2 upon 6 and 3 upon 6 these two rational number when we are going to multiply 2 by 6 and 3 by 6 we are going to get 6 by 6 uh, 36 the answer will be 6 by 36 the same when we are going to multiply the 3 uh, by 6 and 2 by 6 the answer will be same so we can say multiplication and addition of rational number are commutative because 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 when we are going to subtract and when we are going to subtract them by changing their places so we will get the different answer the same goes for in uh, under division also when 3 by 2 is divided by 2 by 5 will get the different answer and when we are going to divide when we divide 2 by 5 uh, by 3 by 5 we get the different answer so rational numbers are commutative under addition and multiplication but rational numbers are not commutative under subtraction and division okay okay so now students we have understood here we have discussed about the number system where we discuss about the natural numbers whole numbers and integers and then after we understood about uh, we understood what are the rational numbers we discussed about the different kinds of uh, rational numbers okay then after we discussed about 
the properties of rational number in that we'll discuss about the closure property and where we discussed that rational numbers are closed under addition subtraction multiplication but they are not closed under division rational numbers are commutative under addition and multiplication rational numbers are not commutative under uh, subtraction and division now i have some work for you so learn the definition of rational number identify uh, which rational number which is the, uh, the rational number and which is not the rational number revise the closure property and commutative property so okay students so we all have discussed here about the different kinds of number pattern we have seen about natural number we have discussed about whole number we have discussed about integer we have discussed about the rational number and we have discussed some properties of rational number i have given some questions to you you can find the solution of those questions keep ready your solution with you when we discussed in next when we uh, when we meet again in next period then we will discuss about the solution of those questions if you face any kind of problem if you have any kind of doubt you can visit the diksha app and extra mark app that is available on google play store you can visit exam fear on youtube that also definitely uh, help you to find the solution of your problem or you can write your problems in comment section also okay so stay home be safe and keep learning thank you thank you so much